In this video, we are going to show you how to create a new game timer and invite people to join it. So to do that, go to sharedgametimer.com and put in the name of the game that you want to play in this box here. So let's play Steam Train and hit create game. Put in your player name and player color. If you don't know your player color at this point, don't worry about it. You can change it later on uh, when the game is in progress. Under which device to use, you'll probably want to stick with the default option of this one, meaning the device you're currently holding. But if you are planning to share a device with another player, say you're sitting next to someone and you only want to have one phone in between you, then uh, you might want to pick another. All that this does is that it removes a warning shown to players when they take an action that interferes with another player's um, timer, like ending their turn and so on. But if you are going to be using another player's device, then you don't want to see that warning, so you can turn it off by picking another. Uh, but I'm going to be picking this one. With that done, all you have to do is hint, uh, hit join the game. As the game creator, you have a few more steps to go through. Uh, the most important one, of course, is to invite players to join. And it's really simple. All you have to do is share the game link with them. And you can do that by copying the link, by hitting the, hitting the copy link button. And it copies the link to your clipboard and you can paste that into your favorite messaging app. Uh, another way of doing it is to hit the share link button. And depending on what operating system you're using, you'll get some kind of um, uh, display like this, where you can choose what app you want to uh, use to send the invitation. Uh, the people that you invite, all they have to do to join the game is to follow that link on their own device with their own browser. And when they do that and they pick the name and a color, their name uh, should pop up in this list of uh, players down here. Another way of inviting players is to add them as hot seat players, meaning um, that they don't have an account on Share Game Timer, they don't have a device, they are automatically going to have to use another player's device. Uh, but it's a quick and simple way to add players around the table. So I'm going to add uh, John here. And he's added here. Note the little symbol next to his name with a crossed out phone means that he is deviceless. And so there will be no warning when other people uh, control his timer. To give John a color, simply click on his player chip and you can pick a color for him. If you have added players uh, and you regret adding them, um, they're easy to remove. Just hit the little X next to their name and they are removed. Note that the game timer requires at least two players uh, before you can start the game. So this start game button down here is grayed out until you add at least one more player. So let's add Jane and give Jane a color. Uh, you as the creator can change any player's color uh, just by clicking their name and selecting a color. With that done, you are ready to start the game. Note that once you start the game, no more players can join. So make sure you wait here until everyone has joined. And then you just hit start game. The game setup section down here, I'm going to be covering in other videos. Um, it changes uh, some features and functionality of the game timer, but I will be covering that in another video. So with that done, we just hit start game and you are taken to the game timer page where you can play the game. So that's it for this video. Uh, keep an eye out for more videos on the Shared Game Time uh, YouTube channel where I have all of the tutorials collected. And with that, thank you very much for your attention and enjoy the game timer.